Today, I'm gonna to share the nine most important topics on the CQE exam, along with a free resource to help you focus your time and prepare effectively for the CQE exam. And we're gonna get started right now. Hey there, my name is Andy Robertson from CQE Academy. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to pass the CQE exam, start now by clicking the subscribe button and hitting that bell icon so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get started. So the CQE exam is made up of seven different pillars from the body of knowledge. And within those seven pillars, there are 42 individual topics on the CQE exam. But those 42 topics are not represented equally on the exam. This tip takes advantage of what's called the 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle. So the Pareto principle tells us that 80% of our customer complaints come from 20% of our failure modes or 80% of our sales come from 20% of our customers. This same concept applies to the CQE exam where 80% of the exam questions will come from 20% of the topics. And that happens to be nine different individual topics. So here they are in order of how they appear in the body of knowledge. Reliability and maintainability, acceptance sampling, measurement system analysis, the seven QC tools, the seven management and planning tools, lean tools, probability distributions, statistical decision-making, and statistical process control. These nine topics will make up the bulk of the CQ exam. And not only can we apply the Pareto principle to the entire body of knowledge to identify the most important topics on the exam, we can also apply the Pareto principle to each of these topics specifically to identify the most important concepts within these most important topics. So for example, statistical decision-making has a bunch of subtopics within it. Point estimates, confidence intervals, hypothesis testing, paired comparison testing, contingency tables, ANOVA analysis, goodness of fit testing. There's all sorts of material crammed into statistical decision-making. If we use the 80-20 rule, we can determine the most critical or the most important topic within statistical decision-making. And that ends up being two different topics, hypothesis testing and confidence intervals. We can do that same 80-20 analysis with statistical process control. It too has a lot of topics. Objectives and benefits, special and common cause variation, selecting a variable, rational subgrouping, control charts, control chart analysis, short run SPC, pre-control. There are a bunch of different topics within SPC. And if we use that 80-20 rule, we can determine the most important concepts within this really important topic. And that happens to be attribute and variable control charts. On the CQE exam, you're gonna be asked a bunch of questions about how to calculate control limits for various control charts. X bar and R charts, IMR charts, U charts, and P charts. And so again, we can take this 80-20 rule, determine the most important topics on the exam, and then determine the most important concepts within those topics. So I wanna share this free resource with you. What I've done is I've created this free online course, and it has all nine of these really important topics, and for each individual topic, I have identified the most important concepts that you have to know within those individual topics. So if you're preparing for the CQ exam, this is a must have resource. This is a 10 day free course. It comes with daily video lectures that get emailed to you with practice quizzes and downloadable content. So you can take this on the go with you. And in 10 short days, you're gonna go through the 10 most important concepts on the CQ exam. Now, to be fair, you can't pass the CQ exam using just this free course. You have to have a good understanding of the entire body of knowledge. But these topics are going to be heavily represented on the exam, so you have to really, truly understand and know these and be well prepared for these 10 topics on exam day. So if you want to get access to that free course, head over to cqeacademy.com slash free course. You're going to sign up and you're going to get instant access to the entire course Every day I'm going to email you a different topic and a different concept within one of these important lectures. And over the next 10 days, you're going to greatly enhance your readiness for the CQE exam. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button so other people just like you can find the same valuable content. And if you want to learn more about becoming a CQE, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get new tips and tricks and training material that I'm going to start publishing on a weekly basis. And if you're really serious about becoming a CQE, check out my online course, Become a CQE in Six Months. You know, this free course that I'm offering is actually excerpts from that full course. 
So if you love the free course and you want to go deeper and you really want to pass the CQ exam, check out that online course, Become a CQ in Six Months. Every day I'm going to send you a different small chunk of study material. We're going to take a practice quiz every day. We're going to use space repetition to go over material over time to help you lock in what you know. And we're going to mix up our practice. We're going to take advantage of that interleaving concept that we talked about in a different video to again help you strengthen your understanding of the body of knowledge so that on exam day you're as prepared as possible. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.